beautiful Cancerians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for February 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are turning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, and I will never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Cancerians, um, this is your February 2022 reading. Um, what does that mean for you in terms of planetary alignment? Well, on the 1st of February, we have the new moon in Aquarius, and that actually affects your eighth house. Um, so that is about, you know, uh, transforming your finances, looking at your bills, creating a strategy, a plan to pay debts and get really clear, but also to welcome in some more money because the uh, on the 16th of February, we have the full moon in Leo, and that actually activates your second house, which is about cash or property, possessions, value, uh, but especially how you value yourself and, uh, you know, how you um, get what you truly deserve out of the situations that you find yourselves in. So you may be looking at uh, what you do for a living, for example, and uh, looking at the way that you earn money, um, streamlining your energy so you've got a little bit more energy for you uh, and creating more abundance. So uh, February seems to be a very financially focused time for you, even though it is uh, the month of love per se. Uh, I know Valentine's Day is a little bit um, commercialized these days, uh, but you seem to be focusing on finances or your career in some way um, because of the planetary alignment, okay? Now, just when I was doing the Tibetan symbols there, it was very powerful energy. It was actually um, very forceful kind of energy coming through there. Uh, so we'll see what that uh, means in your reading. Um, but this is what you're embodying um, as we move forward in February. The first card there is communicating. And what's very interesting right now, of course, um, you know, I'm doing this reading at the end of January and Mercury is currently in retrograde. But as we move through February, uh, you know, Mercury goes direct, giving a bit more um, emphasis on communicating your needs and getting them met, okay? Uh, this is the air element, so this is about great ideas, communicating them, being very powerful, uh, but it's also about this adventurous energy, finding exciting moments in your world. Um, it's number 39 when you reduce it, um, you know, that is the number 12, which is about hangman energy. So I feel like you've been waiting for something uh, to uh, sort of move forward on something, but I feel you're going to sort of activate something, um, whether it is a new idea, uh, whether it is you actually uh, standing up for yourself in a situation that maybe you've shied away from because you were sitting on the fence in some way. Um, this card, this energy that I'm getting is, it's an end to restrictions. You're releasing restrictions and you're almost like getting back to life in some way. Um, now, of course, we're going through a major pandemic, so um, there are different restrictions going on in various places around the world still so it does depend on where you are but on a personal growth level you are releasing restriction the new moon energy is about opening up to love and receiving goodness and abundance and the full moon energy tends to be about releasing any fears and overcoming um, you know any boundaries or obstacles in order to uh, make way for new energy so I do feel like um, you know, you're going to communicate a better deal um, and I feel like you know you're following your heart we've got a beautiful card here the, you know moon soul Soul. So this is about you doing something with your body, mind, and soul, putting everything that you have um, into uh, activating a goal or a dream. You know, you've got air and you've got uh, moon. So I feel like you're actually sort of showing yourself, almost like proving to yourself what you're made of. I really feel like you are going to surprise yourself in some way, how you um, sort of elevate 
Uh, I feel like it's something you've been working really hard towards, but I do feel like with this moon energy, it's almost like, you know, out of the blue, there is a perfect time where an opportunity is illuminated for you and it speaks to your soul path. Also, you may be doing a lot of uh, soul searching because uh, they're actually showing me someone, um, you know, um, there's like a typical sort of um, image of someone ser searching. They put their hands up to their brow as if they're shielding the sun and they're looking around like as if, you can't see my face, of course. So, uh, you know, it's almost like putting your hand just above your eyebrows uh, just to sort of shield the sun. So you get a better, a clearer view. So I feel like you're not going to be blindsided if anyone tries to, uh, you know, pull the wool over your eyes or if there's been something that you've been trying to fearlessly achieve, but you're not sure how you can do it i feel like you find the way uh in february um this is also about the shadow side now of course it's it's wonderful to get you know uh, clear on a diet you know get in shape and you know be wonderfully healthy some people you know they spend a lifetime changing their body or shifting um you know but they don't do the inner work the soul work okay and you know that comes from within all of us have to go through a journey of um going through you know um upheaval in order to look at our soul path and I feel like you exist in that energy sometimes you are contemplating the next step according to your soul so I do feel like you are like a um you know Cancerians they're water elements they tend to um go inwards a lot in order to focus on how they feel about things but you don't tend to communicate your needs outwards so i feel like there's elements of that changing sometimes you don't want to rock the boat uh, because you want to believe the best in people because you've got such a wonderful beautiful heart there but i feel like um you know sometimes that leads my beautiful cancerians to have people try to take advantage of that energy or you know put all the work on them at work you know so i feel like you're not having it anymore you're standing up you're saying no those energies um i'm getting something else here uh so i feel like you are going inwards but i i just get this energy of um trusting your intuition um being on your soul path. I just feel like there's some sort of awakening here. Uh, I can't quite catch the energy they're trying to give me with that card. So I'll always be honest and say, I can't get all of the energy that I can feel from the card. There's something else coming out there, but it's not quite clear. So I'm just going to have to leave it like that and move on. Um, and if it comes up, I will sort of mention it. Uh, but I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading and they're giving me um, an image of a crocodile. Okay, crocodiles. Uh, so crocodiles is like something from the surface comes up. It's like hidden, it's an opportunity uh, hidden that you're going to snap right up or um, you may feel, I mean, intuitively, you tend to know when things are about to change for the positive or the negative. And I feel like you're always ready. Um, so I feel it's a bit kind of expect the unexpected energy. I mean, I feel like it's positive energy. You know, people think of alligators or crocodiles as like something that's laying hidden and dormant and, you know, uh, pose a threat. Okay. But I feel like, I don't feel like it's a threat. Okay. I just feel like it's something coming from the surface, uh, coming from below up to the surface. But that's, that's a little bit sort of neither here nor there to help you. So uh, if it comes up, I will try and explain the energy a little bit more okay uh, thank you so much spirit guys um okay so we have uh the empress card we have the sun card we also have the world and we've got the um hermit uh, i'm going to be going deeper and doing a celtic cross as well for you but this is your overall generalized energy and uh this is about putting your own needs first this is about you being a healthy version of yourself with the empress card it's about being open to receive abundance and there is a lot of abundance coming for you i know they always say you know there's abundance coming for you and it's always in delay and everything like that but i do feel like there is there is a new cycle occurring for you where you're stepping into uh, an opportunity um, and it's your intelligence. It is your um, tenacity. It is your talent, your drive that actually puts you in that position in the first place to achieve. Okay. So 
Um, the Empress card is about creation. So you may feel extra creative in February. Uh, also, there is an energy of people sort of looking at you and your beauty. Uh, whether you're male or female, inside or out, it is all about uh, that energy that flows and that confidence, okay? So I feel like you're very attractive. Um, and that means, you know, in terms of potential. So whether you're looking for love or whether you're looking for career opportunities, I feel like you are a very attractive uh, potential to uh, land whatever it is you're looking for because you are focusing on your own needs. You're having that confidence and self-assurance to know that you are worth it. So the uh, Empress card, especially in this position, uh, talks about your self-worth and that really connects to that second house that will be activated um, from the 16th of February. And that is about value and how you value yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, when you value yourself, you actually teach people to value you in the way that you're hoping for. Any disrespect, you call it straight away, okay? Um, so I feel this is about you um, sort of focusing on um, uh, manifesting what you truly desire. I feel like you're powerful um, and actually creating um, your uh, uh, sort of prosperity there. Um, and manifesting for your highest good. As you can see, uh, there's a butterfly right over the third eye chakra. So I feel there is psychic abilities here available to you. Uh, it's almost like you notice an undercurrent of change occurring in your life and you call it and you're right. So trust that intuition. OK, uh, we'll see if uh, what comes up there for you. But we've got the sun card as well. So this is a very positive outcome, but it's in the resistance position. So it's like I got it in the reverse there. So um, this is some frustration. Uh, could also be a little bit of confusion about something. Um, so I'm going to pull a quick card on this for you just before I move forward, just to see what it is that's blocking the path to um, something you're working on because there is success here. This is the challenge to overcome for the month, which means you will receive it um, by putting your own needs first, having confidence within yourself that you can achieve uh, whatever it is that you desire, whether it is a relationship, whether it is a, a, whether it is a career opportunity, Knight of Cups, okay? Now the Knight of Cups uh, can mean that you feel, especially in, in the reverse there, it can mean that you feel um, that there's no opportunity available for you at this time. You can't see um, any offers coming on in for you at this present moment in time. It can also mean that we have unrealistic expectations. For example, if we want all the success, the glory and the fame, but we never do anything to try and achieve it, that's an unrealistic expectation. You know, uh, you have to put a little bit of work in. But with the Empress card, I don't feel that for you. I feel like you've already sown seeds in your life that are going to flourish, okay? Uh, the, the Empress card is about manifestation, where um, she's already um, sort of planted the ideas, had the ideas, started working on them, and then is nurturing them to growth, okay? But um, you may feel like, if you're looking for love, because the Knight of Cups is in the reverse there, uh, you may feel a little bit of disappointment that you feel, oh, we're, we're approaching Valentine's Day, and I can't see any opportunities for love, so, um, or you may have separated from someone, and it's a very, um, it was a very difficult separation, or it was a very immature uh, sort of separation there. Um, you may feel like you're not really, um, you're finding your own happiness, um, but still the month may leave a bit of a um, a disappointment in your heart. So that's only if you're single and separated. If you're not single or separated, um, I feel the blockage here is you may be worried that uh, you are um, career-wise, you're working on something that perhaps doesn't sing to your soul right now. And maybe you've just got to pay the bills and that's okay, okay? Um, maybe you feel like you're not getting the money uh, or the, the, the right rewards for everything that you offer when it comes to um, your workspace. You feel slightly out of alignment in some way. Um, and I feel like you're going to gain clarity on that. Yeah, Page of Swords says you could be looking at a new option, a new focus. You could be curious about doing something a little bit different. Um, you know, the next card up from this is a lifestyle change. So I feel actually that you're curious about going in another direction or exploring a new way of thinking about um, your prosperity um, and um, how it comes to you or how you get it. So you may be streamlining your energy. Uh, they're actually giving me a song right now. Um, okay. This is a strange song. <laughs> I'm going to have to... Um, it's on a loop at the moment. Um, I really don't know how it is. 
sort of fits with your reading. But anyway, uh, I'll give it to you because this is what I'm getting. I'm scrolling at the same time as doing your reading. Um, we're we'd sorry I got it wrong we'd like to be unhappy but we I, I it goes a bit cloudy it's almost like but we find we don't have the time we'd like to be unhappy but it's either we find we don't have the time or we definitely ha don't have the time I can't quite get it but it's, it's like we don't have the time so maybe you feel like um You've been so busy, you don't have time to be unhappy, or you feel um, that you're not really sure if you're on the right path, and you're questioning it, and you're feeling. I'm trying to. I don't know what song that is. I got to be honest. I I don't know what song that is. Uh, I'm not even. Somewhere in my brain, um, because it's difficult to detach two the two sort of energies from scrying and thinking with my own rational brain about whether it's come up in another reading or not, I can't really tell. Right now, I'm feeling it's not familiar to me, so I'm gonna have to leave it at that. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just trying to decode that energy. I'd like to be unhappy. Who would wanna be unhappy? That makes no sense to me. I mean, that's is that even a song? I'm gonna have to look that up when I finish here, um, because, I mean, we'd like to be unhappy, but we, maybe it's like you're keeping yourself really busy um, because you're trying to avoid, uh, you know, um, if you've separated from someone, for example, you may be keeping yourself busy so you don't dwell in feelings of unhappiness, or you may feel um, in, it's almost like you're, you need to keep busy so that you don't fall into depression or sadness. It's almost trying to keep yourself active, okay? Uh, I feel like the moon card, the soul energy, really processing deep uh, emotions um, and even the sad emotions, the melancholic emotions are important, okay? So just be mindful of um, what we avoid tends to come back even bigger and stronger, okay? So just be aware of that. I'm going to have to look up that song. Um, now they're just, they're giving me uh, some words. So it's, um, I'm going to, Crosby, so I'm, Crosby. Now Crosby, obviously a very famous singer. Uh, I can't tell whether that person sang that though, no way. Um, or maybe your name is Crosby or Crosby means something. Um, I'm gonna have to leave that there as well. It sounds very precise. So uh, if that's you and it gets to you, there's something in this reading for you. If it does not, um, doesn't mean it's not your reading, just means that they want that person to pay close attention to the reading. Anyway, the outcome energy is the hermit energy. So this is like going off grid temporarily, uh, you know, going uh, off, off radar in order to really work out where your happiness lies. I mean, as you can see, the outline there is the sun. So you may feel a little bit reclusive uh, as we go towards the end of February there, just to work out what's the next step or work out where does your passion, your soul lie in your world? Do you still have passion for certain areas of your life that you feel you've lost motivation or drive in? And it's about finding that energy again. The bear always uh, tends to um, indicate that you're someone who is um, very strong, uh, you, you endure a lot, and you're very tough on the outside, and your center is very, very soft. Uh, that's why, especially Cancerians, you know, you're represented by the crab. So you've got a tough exterior, you know, uh, life uh, throws a lot at you and, you know, you're always ready to take action, fight or flight energy. But deep down, I mean, you've got such a warm, soft heart. That's why you're so tough on the outside because you're very protective. You know how deep your heart and your love goes for people, situations. You know how much you invest in um, your work, uh, you know, there's a lot of pride that goes in there as well. So I feel like you have to have that tough exterior. Um, but just make sure sometimes you open yourself up to vulnerability and make sure that, uh, you know, you don't burn yourself out if you're avoiding um, dealing with something at this time. I mean, we all go through phases of saying, I can't deal with that right now. I'm going to have to just not focus on it and try and focus on something else. Um, as long as you're aware of it, okay, it's important because we've got the sun there. So that's an awareness. It's a clarity card. Um, as you can see, the outline there, um, this is what you are trying to achieve, but you feel like you haven't quite got there yet with that sun energy. And as you can see, the outline there is like knowing what makes you happy, finding your inner truth, finding your true north. But it 
is time for reflection. So, I mean, this is Virgo energy. We've also got Libra Taurus energy and Leo energy here. And finally, with the world card, which uh, basically means being in the right place, the right time to meet the right situation or the right person. It also is about victory, winning. We got the victory wreath there. Uh, it is a new cycle, okay? So it's almost like if, for example, you're looking for a for love, uh, set your standards high. They are high, 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 my beautiful Cancerians, and that's what I love, okay? Shine your beautiful light, and it will be the end of, uh, you know, you being in a solitary energy. You won't be single for much longer because the world says this is coming to an end. This is, you're entering a new cycle. You have a deeper understanding of why you were single. Some of you may actually have taken yourself out of the dating game in order to focus on your own happiness and find out what you truly want because you may have gravitated in patterns towards certain people or situations that you're not happy with. Same with career. You may be taking a little bit of temporary time out to think about where you want to succeed, where you want to put your energy in and how it makes a difference to the world and to those around you. Um, also, I mean, this is literally a card of abundance. So it's, you may be, you know, putting your own needs first and, you know, creating healthy boundaries and searching for abundance, being open to it. And then the abundance arrives. Okay. So what you're seeking, what you're manifesting, you're creating. And I feel like this is a lot of success. The world card tends to be a success wreath. Okay. Everything in balance and harmony. We've got Aquarius energy. So we've got that new moon in Aquarius. Then we've also got Leo. So we've got a full moon in Leo. We've got Taurus and we've got Scorpio energy. So all the elements are in balance. And I feel like your hard work, your determination is going to take you to where you want to go. Okay, so there's a lot of personal growth occurring in February for you as well. But let's see uh, what is actually coming towards you. They want that one. The heart of the matter, magic, manifestation. That is the magician card. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got the two of wands there. Thank you so much for it, guys. Going angels, can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? Now, both sort of... Um, Interesting. Um, th this reading is not meant to be about love, my beautiful Cancerians. Uh, this is the general reading. I will be doing a singles reading separately for, especially for Valentine's Day, but also I will be uh, doing one for Twin Flames as well. Okay. Um, and, um, but if love comes up in this reading or career comes up in this reading, I will mention it. They want me to go one more in the near future position. Uh, we got nine of pentacles and four of swords. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide? We have the eight of pentacles. Uh, we've got the six of staves. So it's definitely some sort of success, something to be celebrated for you in February. Um, and there's that strength card for you. Strong. You, you're very strong, very uh, determined. Um, you endure quite a lot. Uh, we got the nine of swords here, though. So there is some sort of anxiety. We've got that something isn't quite right uh we've got the prince of cups wow uh they want me to go one more so i will thank you so much spirit guys going angels can you please guide and we've got the moon isn't that wonderful you know uh the energy uh, of uh it's like your faded energy what you're being embodying in february comes up as the moon the soul and we've got the moon again and diana um, or Diana, however you say it, uh, which is, you know, the hunter. So this is about, you know, flushing out opportunity as well. So I do feel like there is a wonderful, um, something wonderful coming your way that uh, I feel intuitively you can feel it. But sometimes when we just don't know exactly what it is, we're prepared for the worst as well. Beware of catastrophizing, I would say. Uh, always believe in the best and it shall be so. Sometimes we get hit with a bit of a plot twist, but if we're always thinking about the worst, we're actually calling in that energy. Thoughts become things. And what's been showing up in a lot of the readings recently, um, over the last couple of days, Spirit, uh, they're actually giving me the word spelling. Again, whenever they do that, they, recently they're asking me to sort of um, explain how words, you know, they are spellings. We have to spell words and spellings are actually castings. Okay. So you, we're actually, uh, when we spell a word, for example, we're, we're actually uttering a spell to the universe. We're conjuring something up. So think about what you're actually saying. Think about the way you talk to yourself. If you're telling yourself, oh, it's probably not going to happen for me. Uh, you know, it never happens for me. I'm so unlucky. You're actually spelling. You're out. You're putting that out there into the ether. And the universe is picking up on that spell and saying, okay, 
that's how you feel that's what you get so be very mindful how you talk to people and also how you talk about yourself and to yourself, okay? No negative self-talk. Easier said than done, I know. We all have moments of feeling a little bit self-doubt. Because you are in empress mode, again, male or female, not a gender-specific reading, I feel like you're gonna find that boost of confidence to believe in yourself and achieve whatever it is that you set out to achieve. Now, there may be something you have to achieve by yourself in February because we've got that hermit energy. That tends to be about a solitary energy, but it brings success. So whatever it is you're focusing on with laser focus, you're getting to learn a little bit more about yourself. There is enlightenment here and you will see that you are about to be very, very successful, maybe in the spotlight for something, okay? Um, now, the heart of the matter, this is you right now. You're in that casting phase where you're actually spelling because the magician, I mean, it's the magic card. Uh, the magician is someone who has confidence in their skills and sort of um, sets an intention. An intention is like, you know, seeing a vision, for example, letting the universe know this is what I'm working towards. And I feel like you're in that sort of mode of turning your dreams into reality by using inspired action. You're not just sitting back. I feel like you've been working really hard towards these things. And now is the time for you to see things come to fruition. There is a magical energy about you in February. And I feel like people are going to start to take notice. Um, I feel like you're going to be recognized for jobs well done. I feel like you're going to get, uh, it's almost like I feel this invisible kind of like energy where when you think about something, you start to manifest it in a really beautiful way. So I would say be careful what you wish for, but I feel um, the only challenge here is with the two of wands there, there's a weight energy, just like the sun in that position. That kind of means weight or, you know, your happiness. You feel like you're not quite there yet. The, the two of staves is a two of wands. So whatever it is that you're trying to manifest or whatever it is you're focusing on, because the magician focuses with a laser focus and brings his or her desires into reality by being creative, using their skills, um, and also using the force of like the law of attraction, things like that in order to accomplish your goal. So you're set on a path to accomplish something here, my beautiful Cancerians, but what's crossing you is the two of wands. You may feel like you have to wait for results or you have to wait for travel plans to uh, move forward. There's definitely an energy of wait. But the two of wands tends to also mean that you are mapping your progress. You are creating a plan. You're trusting in the unknown and you're in a perfect situation to take any direction you want. The two of wands, you know, in the typical uh, traditional Rider Waite Tarot, the figure with the two of wands actually has the whole world in his hands. So I feel like you actually um, have the whole world in your hands. You can do anything you want, but you may feel you have to wait for the right moment. Um, now, there may have been some things that plans fell apart for you, and that's why you're in a bit of a funk. You're feeling a little bit suspended in that energy. But I feel whatever it is you are waiting for, um, the, the moment will be right. There's actually an offer coming on in here for you, um, and I feel it's attached financially, but also to your soul. It's very important that it speaks to your soul. The Two of Wands is a waiting energy. So it's almost like you are putting all the hard work in and you're waiting for the magic to arise. When really, Cancerians, you are the magic. What are you waiting for? Go after that thing. Go after that person. Okay. Um, you know, there is an energy of taking action here. Now, what is below you? We've got an Ace of Cups. So if you are trying to manifest love, for example, you know, you have to put yourself in situations in order to find love. Either put yourself out there online, speak to somebody, strike up a conversation, or, you know, um, I do see you in an Eight of Pentacles over here. So that is about learning a little bit more about your craft or whatever it is that you do. So, you know, some of you may be actually putting yourself on courses or joining groups in order to learn new skills. So you will meet people there. But deep down, there is an offer of love. OK, um, coming on in for you. If you're in a relationship, I feel like you're deepening your commitment to your partner. And I feel like, um, you know, you're also creating the independent um, sort of space uh, in, you know, in relationships. You have to uh, have your own life as well as they have theirs. So because Cancerians, you're, you're a water element. I'm a Scorpio. I'm a water element. We tend to merge with our partners that sometimes it becomes so sort of like um, muddy where we're like, we have that push and pull. We don't 
we want to like connect to our partners in a very deep way and sometimes we forget about ourselves so we st sort of let life go a little bit then all of a sudden we wake up and like oh my gosh um we're too busy focusing on our partner that we really need to focus back on ourselves so i feel there is a push and pull there um for those of you who are looking for love i feel like february is a very um auspicious month to open yourself up to finding love now some of you may actually already uh, be attracted or interested or have your chemistry as it were with somebody because in the recent past we have the ace of wands so i feel like there's passion has been ignited um if this is a work situation for you i feel like this is about an offer coming on in for you to do something that you love that really um sort of um, is connected to a dream. It's like a dream job or it's almost like deep down think about all the possibilities that are available to you that you can bring these dreams into being if you believe in yourself, if you have confidence, if you use your certain uh, unique element of magic, okay? The Ace of Water at its grassroots is to remind you that you are capable of bringing all those dreams to life. Everything is available to you. If it has been done before by another person, it is certainly been, uh, it is certainly uh, open for you to do it too. But this is also about finding um, illumination in the darkest of places, remembering love, not just for others, but for yourself, okay? Uh, this card tends to be about unconditional love, your love overflowing, uh, and it starts with self okay love gives you hope so it is about shining that beautiful light on all the possibilities available to you so you know um, we all do like jobs for example that we don't particularly love because we want to pay the bills and there may be something that you do want to do that is like a dream opportunity so I feel like there's two streams here of income where you could uh, you know activate doing something that you love that is a dream opportunity and it will be very very financially rewarding because I feel like this is two gifts from the universe we've got two aces here and they are gifts from the universe in the recent past we have an ace of wands now ace, ace of wands tends to be about uh, you being inspired in some way or recognizing your potential for transformation overcoming fear and knowing that you're fully supported okay this is about um taking action on something a time to dream big because deep down you know that you can turn those dreams into reality okay now some of you may be partnering up with other people the three of pentacles is a group setting a teamwork kind of energy so it may be you and your family pulling together to create some wonderful opportunity or it could be you and friends or it could be you and the people you work with as a team if you're an entrepreneur uh, it could be that you're going to reach out to um, other um, sort of collaborators in some way and get a lot of respect people may also come towards you with an opportunity but with this ace of wands I do feel like uh, you're after a period of feeling low energy or lack of motivation I feel like you're going to get a boost of energy okay and I feel that you're if life has been getting you down recently I feel like you're getting back up again and I feel like you're going after it and you're focused I mean February sees you super focused on mainly, uh, I would say, career and opportunity and money and finances and things like that, just because of the placements. But that doesn't mean that you're not looking for love, okay? So I feel like um, if there's someone who's already caught your attraction, you're like, oh, they're kind of nice, uh, or you vibe with them and you're not really sure whether they have feelings for you or not, I do feel like a third party situation, um, and by that I don't mean they're there with somebody else uh, by that I mean uh, you may hear from someone else that that person has feelings for you okay uh, you may hear from the you know the, the grapevine as it were um, that this person that you've got your eye on also has their eye on you okay I'm gonna pull a quick card on that the three of Pentacles is about teamwork people pooling their resources together so you know you may find that there's a lot of generous energy going on in February between you and others things just are quite peaceful but still, in the outcome position, you've got a nine of swords, which means you're worried about something. And I do feel like it's like when things are going well, we tend as humans to worry about what could go wrong. You know, when you're sitting there, you're like, things are going too well at the moment. There's got to be something that's going to go wrong. OK, that's catastrophizing. So we all do it at certain times in our life. So it's about recognizing it and uh, remembering um, to just have confidence in yourself the empress there we go the empress in the reverse that is a lack of confidence okay uh, also um, 
The Empress card in the reverse is also about being indecisive about something or disconnecting, resisting. Um, I'm going to pull a card on that, actually, because I feel someone has um, feelings for you, but I feel like they're either avoiding telling you or um, how beautiful you are, or they are... Um, I mean, if they're, in, if they're indecisive, I mean, you know what, I would move on. Uh, the Temperance card in the reverse, there's kind of like um, an impatient energy here. Let me see what that is. Can you see? There's someone here that um, has uh, their eye on my beautiful Cancerians, or they've got their eye on them. Um, I feel like you have a lack of confidence and feel like that this person would turn you down, perhaps. Um, but I don't feel like that's the case. Nine of Cups in the reverse. So it's almost like, yeah, with the nine of, nine of Cups and the Temperance card in reverse, it's almost like looking for quick results, okay? Or, um, you know, going too quickly, not fully learning that, it, you know, slow and steady wins the race. Um, but I feel like it's almost like when you have confidence, everything will come into balance. The thing that throws you off key, my beautiful Cancerians, is that as soon as either someone um, kind of has feelings for you or you have feelings for that person, you withdraw your energy. And it's not um, on purpose, it's a knee-jerk reaction. So either you've been hurt in the past. Um, can you please show me um, love for my beautiful Cancerians before I move on? Um, thank you so much. There's someone, uh, they're gonna hear about someone um, having feelings for them. This person may have been divorced or uh, going through a separation. Okay, so maybe this person is sort of, they've got interest in you, but they're holding off at this time because the uh, four of wands in the reverse is about um, separation. Okay, so this person may have been in a high level commitment and they've only just got out of one and they're taking their time. And you may be like, come on already, when, when, when it's going to happen? So um, can you show me feelings? Will of Fortune, it's not at this time, okay? Not at this time. So there is a bit of a wait. So uh, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen in uh, February, but there's a little bit of a wait. If you've got your eye on somebody, okay, they feel the same way as you, but it, there's a little bit of wait. It's like this is the wrong timing at this moment in time. So either they're going through a separation. Uh, it's not that they're ignoring you. I feel like they're uh, resisting you at this time because they feel like it's not the right time, okay? Uh, so... Um, they want you because the Ace of Wands is there, okay, which means there is passion, there's love deep down. Um, I feel like this person would want to get to know you better, but they feel it's not the time. Um, doesn't mean it's not going to happen at the end of February, but at the beginning of February, it's just a little bit slow, okay? Uh, Three of Pentacles. Now, this is above you, okay? So the Three of Pentacles is about building on solid foundations you know you're nearly there towards where you're trying to uh, get to this is also about a dedicated collaboration so either you're working with someone to financially sort of boss up or you're you're in the creative planning stages of something and you're just finalizing details before you can move forward i feel like um it's almost like your dreams are starting to become tangible they're starting to appear um, because of the hard work that you've put into them, okay? Um, now, when we get to the near future, we've got Four of Swords and we've got the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Swords tends to mean get some rest, okay? And it's also about being protected um, during periods of nothing happening. Uh, Four of Swords is healing or meditation or rest, recuperation. Um, and sometimes, you know, we have to allow ourselves to have those moments of peace to replace busyness or boredom, okay? So I feel like it's a time where you're really coming back to your center, putting your own needs first, and, you know, taking care of yourself. Basically, this card literally means take care of yourself. Spirit is watching over you. They're protecting you. It's time to take a little bit of a break, especially since we've got that hermit energy. It really connects to the near future. Um, position. I mean, this is your near future position as well. It's like take a little bit of time out to think about where you're going, to think about your prosperity, to think about what you truly want to put your energy towards. Because the Nine of Pentacles says you are self-sufficient, okay? Financially, um, there's a lot of focus on career. Um, and I feel like deep down you may be manifesting love and it is coming for you, but there's just a bit of a pause, 
okay? Uh, whether that's uh, someone that you already have interest for and they're just coming out of something and they're saying it's not the right time, or whether you haven't met anybody that you're really interested in, um, I feel like the universe is going to deliver you a person who is uh, extraordinarily um, perfect for you. And there's no such thing as perfect, of course, but you're gonna be like, huh, did I just dream this person to life? Because uh, I feel like a lot of the, if, you, if you're someone who has uh, like a list, because right now they're showing me like a list and they're showing me ticks, tick, 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 tick. There's only like one or two things on the list that is not ticked, okay? So um, if you're the sort of person who's written a list, I feel like you're going to be ticking some things off the list when you meet somebody new if you are looking for love. Uh, Nine of Pentacles is about financial reward, okay? It is about being disciplined with your money as well and self-reliance. So I feel you're using your resources really well. You're saving for a rainy day, but you're recognizing that what you put your attention to actually grows and financially you will have a lot more freedom okay um, in the nine of pentacles it tends to have two sides and uh, two sides so in the traditional right weight to row uh, there'll be two sides and there tends to be more coins six coins on one side three coins on the other so it is about what you put your attention to what you put your energy to that is the thing that is going to grow. So if, for example, you have a second stream of income there, but something that you're more passionate about, um, I feel like that is gonna grow exponentially and give you a lot more freedom to do whatever you want to do, save for a rainy day. Uh, this is about financial gain coming on in and being able to have fun, have pleasure, okay? So um, I do feel like in the near future, uh, there's going to be a lot of peace in regards to your finances, um, but still you may be worried, uh, I feel like, it's almost like give yourself a bit of a rest because you've been working really hard, okay? Um, so in the Nine of Pentacles, when it comes to love, for example, that tends to be a solitary energy. So if you are looking for love, as I said, uh, in the first part of February anyway, I do feel like um, you won't be in a committed relationship. I mean, you may be talking to somebody new, but I don't feel like it's going to uh, become a relationship uh, until the end of February into a little bit later uh, in uh, maybe March, uh, but let's see what's happening there. Um, now we've got your advice to yourself is the Eight of Pentacles. Focus on yourself. Eight of Pentacles, number eight is the number of self, okay? So self-care, but also I feel like you're appreciating yourself, your skills, your body, your mind, your soul, you're learning, okay? Some of you may feel compelled to learn a little bit more about a craft or a skill and put yourself on a, um, you know, a course to learn more, whether that's online or whether that's in a group setting, I feel like you want to expand your mind to expand your money, okay? So it's almost like you need to do this. This is your advice to yourself in this moment. That's what this position means. You need to uh, sort of focus and uh, be the best at what you do. So you're mastering your craft. You're also enjoying what you do. And in the near future, it reaps rewards. You get benefits. You go up to the nine of pentacles. So there's more finances coming on in here for you, but make sure you get some rest. Okay. Now the external circumstances is the six of swords, sorry, six of wands. Six of wands is about success being put on some sort of pedestal, being in the spotlight or being recognized for a job well done. Also, if you are single, I feel like there are a lot of eyes on you. This is you being raised up, you having that confidence to stand out from the crowd, but you're not doing it on purpose. You're just being you. And that is your superpower. Okay. So remember that my beautiful Cancerians, uh, six of wands also talks about news. Okay, so I feel like some really good news coming your way um, and that will lead to a lot of success. This card literally means victory. Uh, it also means, you know, stepping into a spotlight, for example, or being an influencer in some way in your world. Uh, people looking towards you. Okay, uh, don't dim your shine. Keep shining that beacon of light that is within you. Um, and it's almost like you trusting that you are contributing to the world in a really important way because you are. No two humans have the same fingerprints. We're all here for a reason. We all have unique set of fingerprints um, and we are here for, uh, you may feel like you're here for a certain mission, uh, but this is about, I mean, it's another victory wreath right there. So uh, that is the second victory wreath in your reading, which tells me there's going to be a lot of success or something you've been working towards is coming to the end of its cycle, a conclusion that brings reward in some way. So um, I'm very, very positive about this move forward. Now, also we have the strength card in a hope and a fear position. So I feel like this is about you 
hoping to have the courage to go after whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. But also the fear is that people not realizing your worth. You may have struggled with a lot of things um, and may have struggled with your path so far. And you may have um, sort of been impatient with yourself sometimes and, you know, uh, been a little bit hard on yourself as you try and achieve whatever it is that you truly desire. I feel like this is about having courage to sort of set an intention and then go after it. And I feel like you will achieve it. The strength card tells me um, that you are in command, you're in control of whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. And I feel there's, there is moments though of you either feel like, like you are not enough or having a lack of confidence. Also, you may feel, um, you know, sometimes, and we all do it, so um, please don't shoot the messenger when I say this, my beautiful Cancerians, sometimes when we lack a bit of confidence, we actually self-sabotage ourselves in situations. Um, or you may also feel that um, someone is trying to have control over you in a situation, but I feel you're not going to allow them to have that control. So I feel like this is you having the confidence and the desire to power through and um, with that strength and endurance, achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve, okay? Um, now, they're giving me this um, sentence. It's, it's almost like it's, it's come up before. So I do, I, I have to sort of acknowledge it when it comes up in the water when I'm scrying. So apologies that uh, if I've mentioned it before or because uh, I'm, I'm channeling at the same time. So it's difficult for me to keep an, uh, tabs on everything that's coming out. But they're giving me a sentence um, that is, I am not your opinion of me. I am not your opinion of me. So yeah. Um, so I feel like that is about you, um, almost like looking at people and the way they, uh, may perceive you. I feel like you are not letting that bother you. I feel like you're really stepping into that ownership energy of like, this is me, this is my authentic self and I'm going to shine my wonderful light and not dim my shine, um, in order to make someone else feel better. I feel like you're not playing small anymore. I feel like you're stepping into um, your empowerment, as it were. Um, now, either you can see that quote or it's a tattoo on you or you see it on a billboard or you just read it. It's it's relevant to your situation for some reason, okay? So uh, apologies if you've heard it already, but I, be, it, it comes back in the water if I don't acknowledge it. So I'm just giving that to you because it's just come out now. Um, now we got the Nine of Swords. This is your outcome position. So the Nine of Swords is about fear. Nine of Swords tends to mean unwarranted fear as well, okay? Um, it is about anxiety. So some of you may have been finding it difficult to sleep or there's been something on your mind that's made you feel a little bit restless before bed. Um, Fear tends to be false evidence appearing real. We allow our mind to sort of run away with itself uh, because swords are about communication, but also with the mind, uh, you know, mental conflict or overthinking. So I feel like um, there may have been some sort of um, anxiety that um, may plague you before you go to bed because that is a space where we start to try and unwind. And everything that you've been avoiding or trying not to deal with um, day to day by focusing on your, uh, you know, your duties or your uh, schedule, things like that. When we have an opportunity to lie in bed, all of a sudden you want to sleep, but all those things that you've not been trying to think about sort of rush into your mind and they sort of swirl around there. Uh, the Nine of Swords is a call to faith. It is also about shifting any negative self-talk, okay? Having compassion with yourself. Um, opening yourself up to potential and possibility and recognizing that you are a human being trying your best and that you are on your soul path, okay? This is about opening up yourself to new beginnings as well um, and being gentle with yourself. Uh, I feel like there are new potential or new possibilities opening up on your horizon, but because you cannot see them at this moment in time, you may feel stuck in a rut and you may feel um, that it's almost like this energy of catastrophizing that I was mentioning before. You feel like it's not going to happen. But the more anxious we are, the more anxious we get. 
okay we tend to get into a bit of a cycle so um, I feel like there's nothing to worry about here we've got a Prince of Cups now the Prince of Cups is an energy of an offer coming towards you okay something that you will love something that will align you with your true bliss pages of cups remind you to open your heart okay uh, this is the beginning of um, not just playfulness but this is the beginning of intimacy this card it tends to mean that you're getting to know yourself or you're opening yourself up to a wonderful adventure you know if you're looking for love it's almost saying love awaits it is here for you for you to grab with both hands uh, pages of cups tends to mean you know one of the most exciting opportunities just pops out of nowhere and you have to grab it with both hands because it's too good to be true uh, but it is actually true okay so it's almost like you feel if you don't grab this opportunity there may not be another of course there will be other opportunities in the future but I do feel with this Prince of Cups that this is an offer either to do something that you love or something that you've been working really hard towards like a dream opportunity or this is love in a physical form coming on in to uh, you know offer love someone coming to love you okay or you offering your cup of love to someone else as well but you may be anxious that it's never going to happen for you or you're not going to align yourself with your true calling okay but I do feel like you're actually going to intuitively be guided there because we've got Deanna there and the moon um, so if you're looking for love there's definitely love on the horizon for you um, as I mentioned before um, I feel like it's towards the end of February um, if you're looking for that dream opportunity the same thing applies I feel like um, you will hear about it through like a third person, uh, a third party there. So someone will be like, hey, there's an opportunity here. You should go for it. Or there's, you know, someone who really has feelings for you. You should, you know, maybe you should talk to this person. It may make you feel a little bit nervous. Butterflies in your stomach. There can be good nerves, but there's nerves all the same. Now, the moon and Deanna. That's about opportunity, okay? Um, like popping out of nowhere. It tends to be plot twist energy. The moon is the unseen coming to the surface and making voluntary changes to bend with the current, okay? Also, we've got Deanna. She's got a um, a, um, a crossbow there, or like, you know, a bow and arrow type thing, which is about being right on target. Something that you've kept in your mind's eye that you want to achieve, your target, you will fulfill it, okay? This is about the hunt. Whatever it is that you've been searching for, you will find it. Um, now, they are giving me a book, and they're showing me a book there. Um, now, this is a very famous book that's coming through, and it is about... Um, women who run with wolves so either you've just been reading that book i cannot tell you who, who i know it's very famous but i can't tell you who the author is unfortunately because of the way that they're showing me the book women who run with wolves so if you've just picked up that book or you just bought it or you felt compelled uh, to read it or it's changed you in some way or it fell off the shelf in a bookstore um as you walk past and it was like a signifier that you should buy that book uh, please take it as it resonates it's not gonna resonate for everyone but I feel like this is about your independence okay um, your independent spirit finding your true north um, and having uh, that call to action in some way the moon is about releasing your fears and recognizing that you are protected because I feel like it's almost like you're putting yourself in the path of a new opportunity and you can feel the fear but you're doing it anyway okay that's what I feel with this card um, I also f I also feel there's something hidden here I'm gonna pull a quick card on this there's something hidden here uh, either it's hidden feelings can you show me what is hidden ten of Pentacles I mean the the death card is like transformation and we got the ten of pentacles so that's a transformation of your finances which is what um your february is 10 it, it tends to be about because of the planetary alignment um but if you felt like you were losing out on money then i feel like you're i feel like you uh if you've been going through a bit of a stuck you know a period where you feel stuck in a rut or some way i feel like it's coming to an end but these are the same cards that are sort of coming out when we were clarifying um, someone having hidden feelings for you. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune, not at this time. And the Ten of Pentacles, they may be going through a separation or a divorce. Okay. Uh, the Death card indicates there is transformation in this. So it means there is a new beginning. 
death is signifying uh, a new beginning here uh, and it could be with somebody that felt can you show me whoa the page of wands in the reverse um now you may feel a little bit frustrated or bored of waiting for this opportunity or but i feel like um when it shows up in your world, it's going to transform everything. Can you show me one more for the moon card? Ten of Cups. Yeah. Now, this is... The Ten of Cups is like... Processing. It could be that you're processing like deep-set emotions uh, or some sort of emotions that are connected to a separation or there's been some sort of conflict in your family or, you know, arguments in some way. I feel like uh, the moon is like processing emotions. Um, you know, sort of releasing them. And you can't go too fast when you're doing that. You can't sort of gloss over real deep trauma because it has a habit of raising its ugly head whenever we least expect it and actually at the most inconvenient time as well. So, uh, I mean, we've got two tens in reverse here So and a page of wands. So it's almost like you feel like you cannot move forward on something, but I feel all of a sudden the door is wide open for change. So if, for example, you've been losing money or you had a, like a surprise bill that came out and you had to pay that and you felt like you had no money, maybe it caused a bit of conflict, um, the, the Ten of Cups, I mean, maybe you were going through a divorce um, or someone that you want to be with is going through a divorce and it's like not at this time, we cannot be together. The Death card signals the end of an old way of doing things and a movement into positive change. It, it signals a new beginning, a transition. So I feel like it's the end of your bad luck, for example, or the end of losing money. You're going to be able to save a little bit more. Um, but it comes with this moon energy. It's like out of nowhere, there is a plot twist. And an offer comes out of nowhere. It's almost like if you've been worrying about something, if you've been worrying about something, all of a sudden an offer comes through that really helps you see um, that you're right on target, uh, that it was always meant to help you out. It's like out of the blue, the universe provides in some way. They just want you to be strong and hold to hold your vision, okay? Um, I'm just going to pull a card and see if I can get anything more on your reading before I close. What else do we have for my beautiful Cancerians? What else do they need to know regarding Diana or Deanna, however you say it, with the Page of Cups and the Nine of Swords? Five of Wands. Now, Five of Wands, the tradition of the Five of Wands is whatever you've been in training for sets you up for success. Some people read it as conflict or obstacles that we have to overcome, but that's all on our journey. The Five of Wands is about, you know, training. And the external circumstances for you is the Six of Wands. So it's like whatever you are in training for, you will be successful at. You will be uh, raised up. You will be recognized for uh, good news and success. All eyes will be on you. We got the Wheel of Fortune again, and we got the reverse. Uh, sorry, Wheel of Fortune in reverse again, and we got the Four Swords. But it's almost like these things don't occur until you get some rest or until you take a temporary time out. Okay, because the Four of Swords is something that showed up in your near future there. Okay, so Four of Swords, it's like not until after that Four of Swords energy, until you take a, a bit of a rest, then your luck will change. Okay, so I feel like something that you've been battling away at, you know, if you think about the Empress card, she sows the seeds. She's done the work. She does the nurturing. She makes sure it's watered, but also has, uh, you know, sun. If she's growing things, for example, creating things. And then she takes a step back and she just lets the magic happen. Okay, the seed germinates, the soil enriches it, the sun shines and, you know, does that photosynthesis stuff. And then, you know, the, the rain sort of waters it. All of those things, her work there is done. So sometimes we got to take a step back and get some rest and then you will see the challenging situation sort of from a different angle, different perspective, and things start to show up in a more positive way in your world. So I do feel like there is a bit of a surprise at the end of February there for you where uh, you align yourself with your heart. Either the dream opportunity comes on in or a if you're looking for love, if that's what you're searching for, um, you know, there is an opportunity that comes from the shadows and allows you to have a lot more independence and freedom. OK, so I'm just going to get you a personal power uh, card there. Um, we've got I trust my intuition. They want one more. Thank you so much. Spirit guys, great angels. Can you please guide? And we've got I have a higher purpose. 
okay? As you can see, both these figures are kind of trusting in the divine and looking upwards. And what is above you, that three of pentacles. So that is about teamwork or someone coming towards you to offer um, a collaboration or a piece of information that helps you with your skills, your, your um, movement forward. Um, so I do feel like you're connecting to psychic flashes as well. You're very intuitive in uh, February there, so pay close attention. Um, we got number 15 and number 23. Both those numbers are about overcoming obstacles, okay? So I do feel like you have a bit of a breakthrough in February. Uh, I'm going to give you a final card. Uh, this is beautiful Spirit of the Animal Oracle by Jody, Jody Bergsma. Clever, okay? So intelligent. If you see foxes, I mean, foxes may be an important signifier to you as well, just to let you know. Um, we've got you are swift. I don't know if you heard that. There's no one here. It's just me. And we've got some movement in the back there. I don't know if you caught it on camera, but uh, anyway, because I think the camera can just about see behind me, so I'll have to rewind and have a look. But anyway, you are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. Resources surround you. Be open to romance. I mean, that literally clarifies your whole reading, okay? I feel like there are resources, people who are willing to help you, collaborations available with teamwork there. Also, I feel like you're being very shrewd and bossing up financially. Um... And I feel like you will take swift action as well. Now, uh, and of course, be open to romance if you're looking for romance. Or if you're in a relationship and you've been going through a difficult period, I do feel like there is an apology. Uh, there is uh, sort of an energy of you deepening a commitment with your partner as well. I mean, look at those two foxes. They're so beautiful, but they're and they're together. So there's definitely romance available to you as well um, there in February. Um, now... They're just showing me an image of a, um, a cane, like a walking stick, okay? Uh, so, and I, the top of the walking stick or the cane has either like a dog or um, some sort of, um, I could, it could be a wolf on top of the cane. Um, so maybe that's about finding your true path because a uh, walking stick is like helping you on your path, walking. Um, so maybe it's about finding a, uh, your life's calling in some way or like a pathfinder energy maybe you're going to be given divine intervention or help in the form of a person who comes to help you um because if you think about a walking stick it's like an aid or you know a walking aid it helps you along on your journey it makes things easier uh, especially if you felt like you're not moving forward so it's either that or you have one of those that is significant perhaps it's a person who has passed and they're trying to highlight that to you um they're just showing me a walking aid uh, that has a very ornate uh, sort of like um, top part to it. So if that's you, there's something in this message for you. If it does not resonate in any way for you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading as their attention may have wavered. Now I'm just going to give you a trinket before we close. I'm loving that. We've got a crown. Okay, so this is about your crown chakra. It's about deep knowing. Also, it is about your value. You deserve the best, okay? Uh, because you are head and shoulders above the rest, my beautiful Cancerians. And also, you know, I feel like this is about you having a lot of integrity as well, uh, leading with truth, being self-sufficient. And I feel like, um, I just feel like people are gonna raise you up. There's just this energy of elevation here. I mean, the crown also speaks about royalty, okay? So perhaps you're doing your family tree. Oh, wow. Um, it's just uh, turned. Um, my cardigan caught it, sorry. Um, perhaps you're doing your family tree and you find out that you are uh, connected in some way to um, a loyal, a royal line. Uh, so please take that as it resonates. Not, that's not going to resonate for everyone. Uh, they're indicating, wow, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. I rarely notice that when I look at this card, but they're indicating the crown on the empress. I mean, it stands to reason she always wears a crown, but you can just about see it there. They want me to put it there on her crown. So this is about... Um, recognizing that you are in charge, having confidence, um, and using your instincts to get you to where you want to go. And also we've got the tree of life. So this is about growth. It could also be about family trees, but I feel like this is about branching out successfully and planting roots uh, for the future. This is about growth. Uh, you know, 
trees tend to sort of connect to money as well so money tree energy so i feel like there is more money coming towards you and i feel like you'll be focused on that because of the houses that are uh, activated at this time they want me to put it on the moon energy so i feel like this is about uh you know staying grounded um around about the full moon there especially in your emotions because uh you know you may feel a little bit more sensitive than usual but i feel like there's a lot of growth and positivity in this reading and i do feel like there's opportunity for success but also for um a deep love situation there as well i hope something resonates in this reading for you um if it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, if you'd like to be with the chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is write these words. I am loved. That's all my guides wanted you to uh, write in the comments box below for this particular competition. I am loved. And remember it especially when there are moments uh, of difficult energies. Uh, remember, you are loved, not just by those in spirit and your guides, but those around you. Uh, people who actually um, admire others, they don't tend to mention it. So sometimes you may feel that, um, you know, nobody really appreciates, but it's because people don't communicate. I feel like they are actually going to communicate that very thing in February for you. They're going to let you know how much they appreciate your wonderful presence in their life. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope something resonates. Thank you so much and love and light.